Welcome to Electron Line. And now in order to better understand when we have an absorbing Mark Markov chain and when we don't have an absorbing Markov chain, we have some we have three examples here to try and illustrate that. So here we have a situation where we have three different stores and populations going back and forth between the stores. We have three different stores here again, and now we have four stores here. So in each of those situations, can we determine whether or not we have an absorbing or not absorbing Markov chain? So let's go ahead and build up the transition matrix for each of them and take a look. So for the first one, let's call it P sub one. Uh, this is equal to, and that would be from A, B, C to A, B, C. So again, this is from, and this is two, and I really recommend that you always write those words there so you can see that it goes from here to there. Okay, so from A to C, we have 0.8. So from A to C, it's 0 0.8. From A to A is 0 0.2, and from A to B, it is zero. All right, now we're going to B. From B to B, it's 100, so that would be one. And there's nothing going from B to C or from B to A, so that's zero and zero. From C to B is 0.4, so from C to B is 0 0.4. From C to A, that is 0. And from C to C, that would be 0.6. And again, if we add them all up, we get 1 in the vertical column, so that is the transition matrix. Notice we have one column here where one of the elements is 1, meaning all of the customers at B will remain at B, and they don't, none of the customers will go to either A or to C once they're at B, so therefore we can say this is absorbing. Meaning this is a, what we call transition matrix for an absorbing Markov chain. All right, let's go to our second one right here. Again, it's a three by three, so let's call that transition matrix two. And we need three elements. Again, we go from A, B, C to a, B, and C. So starting at A, notice that from A to A is 0 0.2, 0 0.2, so from A to A, 0 0.2, from A to C, it's 0 0.8. That means there should none be going from A to B, and that is indeed the case because they have to add up to 1. All right, now from B, so from B, staying at B is 0 0.5. From B going to A is 0 0.5, so from B to A is 0 0.5 and from B to C is zero. From C staying at C is 0 0.5. From C going to B is 0 0.5. And from C going to A is zero. So notice in each case, there is no uh, movement of customers from A to B. There's no movement from customers from B to C and no movement of customers from C to A. But there's no state where customers will go and stay in that one location. In other words, we don't have a one anywhere and zeros everywhere on the column, so therefore this is not absorbing. So we don't have a situation here where eventually all the customers will end up in one place and none of them will be anywhere else. Okay, let's try this one right here and see what we get. Now this will be a four by four matrix. So P3 is equal to Need a little bigger matrix, so from and to, and so from A, B, C, and D to A, B, C, and D. So let's start at A. So from A, staying within A is 0 0.5, so from A to A is 0 0.5. From A to B is 0 0.5, A to B is 0 0.5, but we don't have any transition from A to C or from A to D, so those are both zeros. Okay, what about B? Notice that B will retain 100% of its customers. So that will be a one. And so from B to A is zero. From B to B, uh, C is zero. And from B to D is zero. So here, it appears as if we would have what we would call an absor absorbing Markov chain. But let's keep going and make sure that this still satisfies the definition. Okay, what about C? From C remaining would be 0 0.4, so from C to C is 0 0.4. From C to D is 0 0.6, but none of them go to A or B. That's 0 and 0. Now finally, we go from uh, D to D, it's 0 0.5, that's down here, 0 0.5. From D to C is 0 0.5. 
and of course that all that already adds up to one, and none of them will go from A to B. So from, from D to A or from D to B, so that's zero and zero. All right, so now is this an absorbing Markov chain? Well, not really. The reason why it's not really an absorbing chain is because, yes, B, once customers go to B, uh, none of them will come back out, but only a certain percentage of the total population can end up at B. There still be plenty that will still be bet going between C and D, and they will eventually reach a final equilibrium state when we have the stable uh, distribution matrix. And so therefore, even though it appears to have the indication that this would be an absorbing Markov chain, there's no possibility of getting any customers from Z or C or D going to B, so therefore, these, these elements down here will not go to zero, and so therefore this is not what we call an absorbing chain. So we have to be careful. Even though it may appear on the surface that it is, these elements will never go to zero, and that is definitely a condition that these elements go to zero. When we have a stable, what we call transition matrix, we should have uh, ones at the top and zeros everywhere else, or we should have a, a certain number over here and zero down below, and we're not going to get that. So in this case, we do not have an absorbing Markov chain.